I'm Father Eric Folks, and I am very happy to greet all of you, my brothers and sisters, as members of our great St. Henry Parish community and family. Many of you I've had the opportunity to meet, but I'm still meeting and getting to know you, and I'm so very happy to be with you now as your pastor. I want to talk to you today about an enhancement, an additional uh, element to the celebration of our Masses that is coming soon, so that you will be aware of that and understand uh, the reasoning for it and what we are doing. So this is one of the options at the celebration of Mass. It is not obligatory. It is an ancient tradition that we will start using here at St. Henry of implementing the use of altar bells. And this will take place during the Eucharistic prayer. The bells are meant to be a sign of our worship, our reverence and devotion, an acknowledgement of the real presence of Christ in the Most Holy Eucharist, that this is a way of reminding all of us and expressing affectionately to the Lord our recognition that He is truly and really present with us during the celebration of the Eucharist, that in the Blessed Sacrament it is Jesus Himself who is present among us. And so these altar bells are meant as a way of recognizing that and expressing it. So you will hear the altar bells used three times during the Eucharistic prayer. The first time when the priest asks, implores the Holy Spirit to come down upon these gifts of bread and wine. That is called the epiclesis. It is the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And it's a reminder to all of us that it is by the power of the Holy Spirit that these simple gifts of bread and wine are to be transformed into the body and blood, soul and divinity of Christ. And so when the priest asks the Holy Spirit to come down upon these gifts, you will hear the bells ring very gently. It's a subtle reminder and also appropriate. You know that in one of our prayers, the second Eucharistic prayer, it talks of the Holy Spirit coming down like the dewfall. So it is something very gentle. And that's what you will hear as a reminder that the Holy Spirit is truly with us and is uh, coming upon these gifts that they may be transformed into the body and blood of the Lord. During the consecration, you will also hear altar bells. After the priest has consecrated the host, he will then elevate the host, as you're accustomed to, and when that happens, you will hear three times, the ringing of the bells as an acknowledgement that Christ is here, he's among us, and we're showing our love, respect, and reverence. The same will happen after the consecration of the wine. The priest, when he elevates the chalice, you will again hear three times. A gentle ringing of the bells. So I hope this will be an enhancement of our Eucharistic celebration and always lead us closer to the Lord with gratitude for his presence among us, for all of the ways he's blessed us, and especially for this awesome gift of the most holy Eucharist, the very real presence of Christ with us. May God continue to bless us and guide and direct us in our service to him and in our love and care for one another. God bless you.